Hi, and welcome to another episode of Property of Lisa. Today, I'm going to do another Art Lessons with Lisa episode. And again, I'm doing it for the Upper Sandusky Community Library. Make sure to hop on their Facebook page and find this video, plus a lot of other videos that we've done throughout this lockdown time. So are you bored, sick of watching Netflix, just sick of cleaning the house, sick of just staring out the window because you can't go anywhere, you want to do something but you don't know what and you can't do it anyways because of COVID? Well, how about trying some doodle art? Yes, doodle art. This is basically something you can do anytime, anywhere. All you'll need is some thick paper, really any paper will do, but if you're gonna use Sharpies or something like that, then you'll want some thick paper. Um, a ruler, permanent markers, and again, you can use crayons, colored pencils, just whatever thing you have laying around that you wanna color with. And then optional is a stencil or cutout of any shape that you want. And at the library, we have an Ellison machine that you can bring in your own paper and cut out some cool shapes for your doodle art. So gather together whatever you're coloring with. I have a little square I use that I like, and that makes it small enough. And then I have my cat helps me a lot with this. You'll see his paw a lot with the paper and moving around. And then grab your paper. You see he's helping me again. So I grab my Sharpie and I draw around my square. I just like to have a little frame to work with. And then I take the ruler. Then I draw some thinner lines, fine pointed Sharpie. But that doesn't really matter because a lot of times later I outline them in the thicker sharpie anyways so just do what you want after some straight lines I just add in some curved lines and you can do this however you want please don't copy mine if you want to fine but just make it your own and then I found it's good to find about five colors that go together now, if you want to do more than that, that's fine. But sometimes you want to use a color palette. And that's kind of an element of design is putting together colors that look good together. So I picked these five colors. And then you just kind of randomly start putting them in the spaces. You want to space them out some. If you want them to touch, that's fine too. This is all your own. But I like to make them spaced out and not touching the same color. And you just start filling them in. And this is where the fun is. It gives you something to do. It's kind of satisfying for some reason. And you just keep on going. And there's the finished product. I hope you like yours as well as I like mine. And I hope you had fun doing this. Remember that there's all kinds of different doodles you can do. I've been doing them for a while. I just got bored sitting watching TV and I decided, hey, I should be drawing. And I didn't know what to draw, so I just started doodling around. So have fun with it. And I hope to see you next time on Art Lessons with Lisa. Remember to hop on over to the library's Facebook site and check out any other videos we've done. There's lots of crafts and other art things and make sure to check out my property of Lisa over on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe and remember to put up hashtag USCL teens so that we can see what you've been doing with your doodles on Instagram.